Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Finance on Your Terms with your host Mike Benaziak. Welcome back and thank you so much for joining us again for another series. I am super lucky to have another guest with me today. Um, this guest has never been on Finance on Your Terms before, but I'm super excited. Um, I think she might, don't tell anybody else, might be my favorite guest so far. So let me introduce you to my daughter, Avin. Say hello. Hi. Hi. And uh, why don't you tell everybody a little bit about yourself. How old are you? I'm six. Okay. What grade are you going into? I'm going into first grade. All right. So today we are going to start a series on kids and money. And I think the way I look at this is uh, over the next few videos, I kind of want to progress from something very basic, something very simple, to something more advanced. So almost uh, younger kids into maybe uh, uh, preteens and then into uh, to teenagers as well. But no matter what these concepts are, I think you can apply them when you're dealing with kids and money. Today, I want to talk about visualization. So Avin, if I were to say, what does money look like to you? What would you say? It looks like a candy wrapper. Okay. All right, candy wrapper. You can tell this is pretty much unrehearsed. Uh, we've got uh, some concepts in mind. What else does it look like? What else did you tell me it looks like? It also looks like a card. A, so it looked like a card or it looked like a candy wrapper or you said green paper earlier when we were talking. All right, good. Now, what can we do with money? You can buy something with it. Yeah. Is there something that you're wanting to buy with some money? A big LOL surprise. Okay. So, a big LOL surprise. I have no idea what that is. Apparently, it's some kind of doll. What is it? Is it a doll? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, now, what do you need to do in order to buy this big LOL surprise? You need to... um. You need to do like chores or something. Okay, but you need to collect money, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so that is what today is about, is saying collect money. Money looks like this, money looks like that. Um, it's all about visual visualization. So how, when you're talking to your kids about money, are you going to help them visualize what it means to even have money? What money looks like and how does it look to accumulate money? And you can really do this as low tech or as high tech as possible. Um, we've used in the past, we've used a, 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 a piggy bank or a clear jar so they can actually see it. Um, in fact, there's one sitting right over there right now where you can actually see the, uh, the coins and the dollar bills accumulating. Um, or you can use a chart or graph so that as you help them accumulate that money, um, you can actually see a chart on the chart how much you're getting or how close you're getting to uh, to that goal but that's the idea is that it's so difficult sometimes for us as adults to even visualize um, what we've got collected and what our different goals are for uh, uh, for the uh, the goals that I ha that we have and how close we're getting to those goals let alone it is kids so this is a very basic way to start out is help them in some way visualize what they've got and what they need to get to for their financial goals, no matter how small um, they, uh, they might be. The other thing I want to talk to today is, talk to you about today is opportunity costs. So Avin, let's say we go out and get this LOL doll. So what does that mean for your money? That means I use my money to get the LOL doll. And can you use that money for anything else? Okay, so if there's something else that you want to buy or something else that you want to save for, what do you got to do? You've got to um, make more money. Mm -hmm. You've got you've to somehow make more money. That's right. But the idea that if you go out and buy that doll, maybe there's a video game, like Minecraft or something, that you can't buy. Or maybe there's some makeup that you can't buy or something along those lines as well. But the idea that we're introducing, if we get A over here, we don't necessarily get B. And by helping them visualize that, might take a step back and go, oh, I didn't realize. So on that chart or in that jar, when that money goes away, that money is no longer there. It's not magic. We wish it was magic, right? Mm -hmm. That'd be so much easier. But unfortunately, that's not the, uh, the case. 
So visualization is really the key to even starting any conversation with kids about money. Figure out a way that you can show them, show them what they've got and where they want to get to whatever that is and there are apps to help you with that I mean, you can do poster board and make charts or you can just have the old school uh, uh, clear glass mason jar whatever it takes make sure they know that they're they're actually building it up so they're growing their money towards their goals but then if they use it to spend on other things poof poof it's gone is gone no more we got to earn more somehow, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So that's today's lesson for uh, money and kids is visualization and opportunity cost. Uh, stay tuned for next week as we get into another topic. Adam and I are going to delve into something else. And thank you so much for sharing the videos as usual. Hopefully this topic is interesting. Feel free to share this video with as many people as you know, friends, family, coworkers. Spread the news. And after this series, if there's other topics that you want to hear about, let me know as well. I've been Mike. This has been Avin with Finance on Your Terms, and we will see you next week.